Hey guys! Welcome back to Scott Blocks. Today we are talking about 14 most hated Roblox players. Let's start with number 1. Make sure to like and subscribe first. Number 1 is Lisa Gaming. She was hated on because she was racist, homophobic, and a kid. People thought she was a kid because of her handwriting. Take a look at this. She also lied that Flamingo hacked her. Here's a picture. After that she made an apology video. But after that she made this. Here's proof that she was racist and homophobic. She also deleted Bloxburg houses and laughed at them. At the end of the video, I'll be doing a list of the players who I hate and I think people hate the most. So you can leave your opinion in the comments below. Let's move on to number 2. Number 2 is gotta be... Kalajish. He was popular in 2021 because of his exposure. He got exposed for talking dirty with a 14-year-old. Here is proof. After that his YouTube account and Roblox account were banned. Number 3. Coral. Coral was popular in 2017 because he was in a Roblox group called the, the Pals. But everything would go downhill for Coral in late 2019. Because he called a 17-year-old cringe for being a fan of him. The girl also said that she spent 100 pounds just to get the pals written on her school jersey. Coral's reaction was just cringe. Dennis the leader of the pals kicked Coral out of the pals. But then people thought that the girl was at fault for Coral's kicking. So they hated on the girl. The hate got so bad that the girl wanted to take SICD. But luckily she didn't. The pals YouTube channel was abandoned. Number 4. Harry Plays. Harry Plays was a popular TikToker with around 120,000 followers, but he was exposed for being racist. He posted a TikTok which was racist. Here's the video. After that he got tons of hate. He soon lost his TikTok and YouTube channel. Number 5. Jeremy. He was a Roblox YouTuber who mostly played Adopt Me. Here's a useless fact about me. I hate adopt me. Anyway, Jeremy would give out free Robux to anyone who wore his merchandise. But then the tables turned for Jeremy. He got exposed for talking trash about another famous YouTuber Leah Ash. This upset Leah Ash because she thought that Jeremy was a good person. Here's something else about Jeremy. He bought rare adopt me pets for real money, which is against Roblox terms of service. He also got people to spam the Adopt Me owner of Twitter. The owner of Adopt Me got really angry and said to Jeremy, If you even think of playing Adopt Me I will press charges against you. So Jeremy went back to Minecraft. He then lost thousands of subscribers. Number 6. Supremacy. There's not really much to say about him. He was known for his clickbaiting and scamming. Sadly his channel got to 450,000 subs so a lot of kids were getting scammed. Thankfully he quit YouTube shortly after. Number 7. Real Matt. Real Matt was a popular YouTuber with 200,000 subscribers. But he was soon getting a lot of hate because he was spreading lies about popular YouTubers such as Flamingo and Conoco Kitten. Here is a video of him spreading lies about Flamingo. But Real Matt didn't care he didn't stop uploading content. Real Matt ended up getting so much hate that he deleted the majority of his videos. Number 8. Fave. Fave was quite popular in 2020 because he got caught talking to a 14-year-old girl. And he is 19. We haven't heard from him since he got caught. Number 9. Roblox Lover 69. So Roblox Lover 69 was popular because of his stories that he done. But then someone found out that he had another channel when he scammed people for Robux. The channel was called Robloxy. After that he lost the majority of his subscribers. Number 10. Jared Valdez. So Valdez was a popular developer back in 2013. But he wasn't any ordinary developer. Because he would steal other people's games and claiming them as his. He stole the games. Welcome to the town of Robloxy. Zombie Outbreak. He became the first player with over 20 million visits on Roblox. Roblox then later banned his account, but he created another account and started copying people's games again. This was the breaking point for Roblox, and the IP banned Jared from Roblox. That means he can never play Roblox again. Jared will never come back to Roblox again. Number 11. Adore. 
She was a Roblox YouTuber who was racist. She said multiple racist things in Ragdoll, including saying black skin is you. And she was mostly racist to Mexicans as well. I remember her from a game of Ragdoll she was disgusting to be around. I don't know what happened to her after that. Number 12. Jalan. She was known for cyberbullying. She also made fun of Lizzie Winkle, who sadly passed away from cancer. R. I. P. Lizzie Winkle. Anyway she got lots of hate and her TikTok account got banned. We don't know if she still bullies people. Number 13. M. Sandra. She was mostly known for her jailbreak and news videos. And her channel had around 85,000 subscribers. Everything was going well for her until her Roblox account was banned for selling Roblox limitables for real money, which is against terms of service. And Sandra claimed she never done that. This caused a huge drama in the Roblox community, but she never got her account back. Here is a racist remark that she made on Twitter. She said a lot more. It was clarified that she was online dating another YouTuber. She also promoted free Robux scams. And worst of all she would tweet inappropriate things. After this her Twitter account was banned and she privated her YouTube account. The last number. Mr. Obvious. Mr. Obvious was a well-known Roblox skit animator. One of his skits won a Bloxy award in 2014. But then he was exposed for being a pedophile. He was terminated from Roblox after that. Let's now go to the list. What do you think of my list?